Hey guys Ridicle here, today I'm going to show you how to properly do the replay glitch for Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. First you want to make sure you've done the raid at least once before. I recommend watching my guide on how to do it down below in the description. Make sure you do the raid how you like, certain cars you prefer and gear slash weapons, since you will be using the same gear slash weapons and car every time you do the glitch. Second you want to make sure you're able to do the slush fund mission, if you can't or there is an AV on your map, then you're still in cooldown for the raid. The cooldown will take about 45 minutes. So if you just finished it, come back again in 45 minutes. Once you're able to start the slush fund mission, you want to pause your game, go to the online tab, then select playlist. Then you want to press create. After that select recently played jobs and add disorganized crime. If this mission isn't an option, you can select hit and run and once you finish this raid, do this process again but make a playlist with disorganized crime. Now you can save the playlist and name it whatever you want, I just named it the letter G really fast. Then you want to go to my playlist and play the playlist that we just created. It should load you in normally but say, playlist, at the top. You want to start the mission and do it how you would normally, or, you can do it like I do and take the route I do here. If you get lost or a little confused, you can still do it the normal way. I got lucky and found it at the first garage, but here's the rest of the route. Once you're inside, just kill the guys like I do. Make sure you shoot the camera so it doesn't alarm anyone. Grab the drill here, and disable the CCTV in this room. Now kill the rest of the guys like I do here. Now you can disable the trucks. When you get to the locker to look for the keycard, start the drill then immediately cancel drilling it, and kill these two guys like I do. I got super lucky and got the card on my first safety deposit box, but if you're not as lucky as me, there's only 4 lockers, and each has 4 safety deposit boxes. Once you're done with everything inside, there's a truck outside with crates on the back that you're going to use for the heist. Steal it and take it back to the lockup. Once you finish the mission, it'll give you a missions past screen, and load you into a screen that looks a little bugged out like this. 
Just press continue and wait for the winner screen to be over. Now you can start scene of the crime, which is the raid. If you want to, you can leave the video now or if you want some help on how to do the raid, you can keep watching. Make sure you subscribed and liked the video for more content like this in the future. Now, for the people who stayed let's get this party started. Once you load in and you're able to move your character, follow the path I do and kill the three guards in this room with whatever suppressed weapon you have. Then you wanna shoot the fuse box and wait for this gate to open up. Then kill the guard looking at you, and the three others here, I made a mistake and shot the guy down the hall because of aim assist, but you still wanna kill everyone in this hallway, as well as the guys at the end. Then you want to go down the hallway and enter the room at the end. There will be one guard with a gun and two scientists, after you kill them grab the white powder on the back tables and on the side wall. Then head up the stairs and out the door. When you come out the room, head through the doors to your right. There should only be one guard in the room but if there's two, you can easily kill both of them. Then, to the left there's a gate with a keypad on the side of it. Simply use your keycard on the keypad and head inside. Once you're inside, there's a guard on the right side and left side. Take them out, then grab the white powder from the two back crates. Sometimes it spawns a crate in the middle instead of in the back right side, open this crate if it's there and there should be white powder inside as well. After you fill your bag with the white powder, leave the room and head down the hallway. There will be two guards in the room and it should be pretty easy to take them out. Then, head to the hallway here. There will be a guard standing inside and another guard watching him. Make sure the guard behind him doesn't see you kill the other guy. Then, kill the last two guards. If you haven't already you should have seen and grabbed some office keys. If not then you can head back to the other two rooms and look for them there. If you were spotted like I was, you can just shoot the door handle, but don't do this if you weren't spotted, cause it will set off an alarm. Once you get inside the office, you want to hack this computer here and get the hacking device to open the safe, once you have the hacking device you want to press left trigger, or right click to open the device. If it's blue then you're facing the direction that the computer with the code is in. You want to head over to the computer and hold the device and it will add the code. You have to do this three times and then you should get a code on the device. Once you have the code, head back to the office and put the code into the safe, when you grab the money from inside the safe you will set off an alarm, but don't worry we can still do it stealthily. Head to the back and shoot this fuse box with your suppressed weapon. And wait for the gate to open, then walk around this truck and kill the guards in this back part here. After they're dead, you can head inside the garage where the getaway car should be stored. Once you're inside the getaway car you wanna head to the right and follow the tracks like I do. When you get to this little white building, park your car against this rock like I do, and look towards the mountain, then request your personal vehicle. Once it spawns and you want to take it down the railroad tracks like I do.
stay on the tracks for as long as you can and when you get off, head towards the airport like I do. And you should lose the cops if they didn't spot you anywhere else. Now head to the highway and take it all the way to Vincent's lockup. Once you get there and park the car you'll get the $500,000 and emissions passed screen, now just wait the 45 minute cool down and you can repeat the process. This saves you a ton of time and makes it so you don't waste so much time making only $500,000, if this helped please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you want more GTA Online content, check my playlist below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.